a year. Hey, what's up? It's Izzy here with I Do The Most, and I'm back with the Pokemon Blaze Glaze Nuzlocke playthrough. Alright, so in the last episode, we made it through the uh, Tunad power plant, where we've seen Sparky and some funky things going on, some strange criminals up to criminous activities and such. So if you missed out on that, feel free to go back and check it out. We caught up. Uh, if this is your first time joining in on this playthrough, uh, all of these videos will be organized into a folder on the page, so you're more than welcome to go back there and check out the first episode, catch up fully to where we are, but, um, as of right now, we got a full team, I did go back to the forest and do a bit more training because I'm not sure what to expect in this. Um, I've played the original Glaze before, and I know that there were some challenging parts on there, including the gym leaders, and I know in a lot of these ROM hack games, the important battles tend to have like a difficulty curve, so I don't want to go in this gym all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and expecting to just blow through it. That could very well be the possible outcome but I don't want to lose, lose the Nuzlocke before I even really get a chance to get it started but anyway let's do a quick team recap because there has been some changes since the last time I played uh, we got Splinter with Guts this moveset is still the same we got Tweeds with nat Natural Cure, I was going to say Miracle Cure with Absorb Growth he learned Mega Drain, so I got rid of whatever the hell that fourth move was. <laughs> whatever it wasn't, it wasn't that useful. And I just decided to keep Absorb and Mega Drain. Mega Drain only has 15 PP, and with growth, that should be enough to do a considerable amount of damage in the battles to come. Stun Spore, the ability to paralyze without any, uh, any other stipulations behind, that's going to be a clutch move to keep. Next up, we got Elect Kid with Static as his ability. He has Thundershot, Quick Attack, Swift is a move that he learned, and Low Kick. I did get rid of Leer just because Leer, and I was considering getting rid of Low Kick because I'm pretty sure my guy is a special attacker. He could be a mixed attacker because I know Electra Butt. Electabuzz and uh, Magmar were both like mixed attackers, but I think their special attack is normally higher. But low kick is some coverage, so I decided to keep it. Quick attack for priority, thunder shock for stab, and swift for a never missing special attack move. So, next up we got Gilly the Marsh Top with Torrent as its ability. He has tackle, mud shot, mud slap, and water gun. All. All offensive moves. Now, this isn't going to... I'm, I'm not a, a rookie or nothing. <laughs> I don't keep all offensive moves all the time. But just some of these earlier moves like Leer and Growl and stuff like that, I don't really have a use for at this point. I think my team put out enough damage or they can power themselves up. Or stuff like that. Versus lowering my opponent's moves. Hopefully, I don't end up regretting that as this game goes on. But after our, I was going to say Swampert, Marsh Top, we got Onyx, Big Body, old Big Girl over here. She got Tackle, Screech, Curse, and Rock Throw. I believe her moveset's still the same with Sturdy as, a, as an ability. And lastly, we got our starter, Harambe, with, what is your ability called again? Blaze. Got Mock Punch, Leer, Ember, and Taunt. See? So we got some non-offensive moves on him. Leer can come in handy because he is a mixed attacker, but his physical moves will probably take precedence over special attacks. Depending on what he learns and what TMs I come across and stuff like that, I'll decide more down the future. I think Mock Punch is going to be a move that lasts until the end of the game. I'm not sure about Taunt. Ember is definitely going to be replaced, and Leer is going to be replaced most likely. Alright, so I believe that's all of our team. Yep, Tweed's got the experience share. 
Let me make sure I got potions and shit before I go in there. Five potions. Got two paralyzed hills. Let me go and get some more paralyzed hills. Since we are going to the electric gym, we want to make sure that we have a way to cure paralysis. Don't want to just walk into that. Alright, so I can get four of them. I'm going to just go ahead and get four paralyzed hills. There's no reason not to. I could save a couple of dollars, but this could save one of my Pokemon's life. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into this gym battle. I feel like it's been too long. Yo, who are you, Izzy? Well, I'm going to give you some good advice. Sparky is a mechanic and trains the electric type. Use ground type attacks to defeat him. Um, at the end of the last episode, I did make sure to put the battle rotations on set rather than shift so that when they bring out their next Pokemon, I don't have a chance to respond until after that Pokemon is brought out. So I actually got to waste a turn to swap Pokemon if I need to. And it gives it a more realistic battle feel. Like if Pokemon battling was real, it would be more like this rather than, hey, my next Pokemon I'm bringing out is Charizard. Do you, do you want to switch the Pokemon that you have out to benefit you in this battle? No, that's not the way it would work. <laughs> so... Yeah, there's that. And I also did some tinkering with the sound because I realized in the last video the game music was much louder than my voice. It could have been just where I was at. Or... I I'm not really sure, but it was acting funky. I put it on the same value I normally put it on. But, you know, I couldn't... After going back and re-watching it, I could barely hear anything that was being said. Like, I know what was being said, but if you wasn't here, you probably had to listen a bit harder to hear. But it's all good. We got it fixed now. Fixing cars is, cars is hard work. Let's have a battle instead. Alright, let's do it. Big man turned into a little man. Grease Monkey Mike. Does he have Intimidate? Of course he has Intimidate. Alright, so I'll put Splinter up first just because... To see what I'm going to go up against. But that Intimidate, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to switch. I should have went into Gilly. I don't know why I went into Harambe. At least he doesn't have static, so I don't have a chance to get paralysis from hitting him. Goodbye. Battling you is hard work, too. Bars. Alright, so one gym trainer down. Whoa, when I'm working on cars, I don't pay attention to people around me. It's all good. That just means that you focused on the work. Hopefully, you're going to be focused in this battle. Sent out Pikachu. Um, yeah, I'm going to definitely swap into Gilly. Because I don't want to be paralyzed. And... I have enough defense to take anything that Pikachu can dish out. That should one shot a Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. Can we get Hyper Fang or something? There we go. Called it. Tweet has been gaining levels really quickly. While I was training him, he gained about three levels before Rattata, uh gained one. I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's just a Pokemon that really uh, levels up quickly. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So we got a new move and we got an evolution in this video already. I'm with it. So that should definitely increase his power. I wonder if his, his ability will change it to Poison Point now. Right? 
Don't learn any psychic moves or. Let's see. No, he still has na natural cure. It's all good though. I'll, I'll definitely take the Rosilia. I'm Sparky's best mechanic. I'm his best gym minion too. <laughs> That might be the first time I've ever heard someone call himself a minion. <laughs> we got Elec Kid. What do you think? You think Splinter can take on Elec Kid by himself? Let's see. We got Hyper Fang. Let's try it out. Swift. How much is that going to do? That's a lot of damage from one attack. Yeesh. Will Quick Attack take him out? He has quick attack too. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so I'm a hill splinter, but I'm going to take him from the first slot. I, I don't think that this is... Yeah, that's probably not smart to keep him there. Because there's nothing that he's really going to be able to just take out by himself. That comes to mind. I mean, except for like Pikachu and... Maybe the Shinx. I mean, he could take out, like, an Elect Kid if he has that. But if he has, like, Magnemite, it's nothing I'd be able to do against it. Jolteon would body it in one hit. Alright, so let's start out with... I want to put Gilly in, but I feel like I need to, I need to save Gilly. I don't want to start with him and then get hit with... Like a hidden power grass or something. That'd be tragic. So I'll start with tweeds. Also, let's take that experience share off of him and give that to Buzz Lightyear. Maybe we can get an early evolution with Elect Kid as well. Or at least like Thunder Punch or something. Or Thunderbolt. Spark. This Jotion is more intent on its trainer's work than you. Hold on just a sec. Jotion, pump the car with the Thunderbolt. Jolt, jolt. Awesome. She's up and running again. Sorry about that, Izzy, but I don't like leaving a job unfinished. You finally come to battle me. I see. Well, this battle ought to be shocking. Oh, we're throwing corny puns around, are we? Yeah! I think we are. Start with an, an Electrike. Alright, I think uh, Splinter, Splinter could have took a hit to Electrike, but it's all good. I'm, I'm not mad about where I'm at. Let's start with some growths. Again, because I don't know what to expect. Sometimes they do ridiculous things. Like, they'll have... Move sets that they shouldn't have this early on in the game and then just completely wreck you. And if you're not ready for it, you'll be fucked. I don't know if that's the case on this one, so I'm just being prepared, that's all. Let's see how much Mega Drain does with two drones. Does it do at least half? Or <laughs> one shot, I'll take it. Holy shit, Tweeds. Good shit, good shit. What do we got next? Marie. Alright, you can now speed a fucking Marie. Nah. Yeah, let's let's I think Marie's gonna be able to live one though. Now this evolutionary line got pretty decent special defense. Yeah. That still... I still did a lot more than I thought. I ain't going to even hold it. Bruh. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, bro. Well, 
hopefully he don't have any potions to heal his Jyoti on them. Does Jotion have any moves that can really body me? I think he had Pin Missile, but I'm part poison, so that, that'll be only neutral. And it's not stab for him. It's not a very strong move to begin with. So I should be good. I'm staying in with Tweeds. Let Tweeds take this gym. I ain't even need to go into my ground types. That's why. Ain't no point in getting cocky, though. See, look, level 16. I'm stun sporting him. I don't give a fuck. Roar? Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I'm just going into Gilly. I'm not playing this shit with him. Yeah. Was that Thunder Shock? Or Thunder Bolt? Substitute. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. That's nothing to worry about though at this stage. Can we just take him out? Goodbye. No. I didn't, that didn't kill him? That's shocking. Alright, so that should be it for Jolteon. Mud slap. There we go. Shouldn't have used all of your healing items. Damn, that was a lot of experience for one Pokemon. Spectacular! Spectacular! Electrifying! You definitely, definitely deserve this badge. You definitely can't speak English. Obtain the Jolt badge. The Jolt Badge lets you use the move Cut outside of battle. It also raises your Pokemon's attack by a little bit. For being such a good sport, take this too. TM34, is it Thunderbolt? Is it Shockwave? It contains Shockwave. Okay, I'll take Shockwave. Wowzers, Izzy. I could see the electricity from here. Is this like first generation where like all normal Pokemon can learn like special moves? Splinter can learn Shockwave. What's his special attack? I know opt like the optimal use would be to give it to Buzz. But you know to give him Something to do other than just normal type attacks, quick attack and tackle, and leer. Well, now I do have a uh, hyper fang, so that's dope. I feel like that that first gym was a little disappointing. Maybe they just balanced the game out a little bit, because again, like I said before, it was a lot of difficulty spikes. It'll be, you know. You're running through shit and then randomly you just run into a rival or a gym leader and they could easily take out like three or four of your Pokemon before you even get a chance to really do anything. Okay. What am I supposed to do next? Boathouse. I know I could buy a ticket. What's down here? Sorry, you can't sell on this ship without a wish ticket. And I don't remember how to get that. Ahoy, if you're coming to me, that means you want to set sail, right? Ah, uh, you don't have a ticket yet. You can't get one at the boathouse over there if you like. Oh, you can get one. Yeah, let's get let's get our ticket. I don't think I can do anything else until I do. Where do I get cut from, though? Do one of y'all give it to me? No. Point. What? Nine tells for a polyroll. 
want no damn poly roll. You keep your punk ass poly roll. What's here? The bed and breakfast. Maybe I gotta go back to the starting town. Let's see where this boat takes us. Serenity Isle. Okay. While I prefer to travel by boat, I've heard there's a Pokemon move that allows you to travel on water. It's a lovely sunny day. The fish are biting. I can't think of a more perfect day. Good for you. This pier is one of the more popular fishing spots in Tunod. You aren't a real fisherman till you fish here. The fish here are so abundant, they're practically begging to be caught. Huh? My cell phone is ringing. Izzy, where are you? Serenity Isle, perfect. I was hoping you could deliver something for me. Could you run by my lab? The quickest way would be to take the Serene Bridge, which runs south of Serenity Isle. Thanks. I didn't say yeah, you motherfucker. Have you been to the port in Sea Spray Town? It's the main port of the Tunod region, and it's massive. Nah, fam. They got great balls. How the fuck did I get $3,000? Where did that come from? One of the uh, gym trainers must have gave me a decent amount of money. I think the gym leader only gave me like 680 Grab like three great balls. Anything else that's useful? Super potions down the line, maybe? Let's see what else is in the city before I sell off all of my things. Oh, we stock on Pokeballs. Absolutely. I need some antidotes to heal my poison Pokemon. The Fusion Resort only opened a few months ago and it's already attracting tourists from all over the world I hear they offer a tutor that can teach any move to any Pokemon amazing that sounds like fun yes let's heal up I think I'm gonna go back and see what the professor wanted me to drop off before I really explore this town Cause I'll end up forgetting and then it'll be like an event or something that I miss. I hope to get the Johto one day. Alright, um, 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 um They're like a cut person house here though. And I said, I don't want to do too much. End up triggering an event or something. Welcome to Serenity Out. Alright, Tweets. Uh, let's get Harambe back up front. We don't want we don't want our strong Pokemon to fall behind in levels. This bridge is absolutely exquisite. Is it? Bars. Weasel. See what I'm saying? Them, them levels, they be jumping up. Level 16. Maybe I should have kept Tweeds in. I'm bringing them back in. That's for sure. Use quick attack. All right. I'm going to use slow attack and get all my health back. One shot. My fucking guy. Level 14. Now you got a Taylor. Okay. I got something for Taylor's ass. 
Yeah, so it looks like I'm definitely going to have to level up before I start willy-nilly battling everyone up here. Or maybe these guys are just at this level because they expect you to do the shit in the town first and then come this way. But he told me to come and grab it. I don't think that they'd do that like as soon as you entered the city. If they didn't want you to do that part first. Your battle style, marvelous. Let's see. Alright, I think we're good on health. Come on, let's have a battle. Star you. Sheesh, all these water types, man. Chill out. Back in the tweeds we go. Let's start with Absorb. I know, I think Staryu has decent special defense. So I don't want to trigger their healing items if I don't have to. And then I'll end it with Mega Drain. Harden's not going to save you, Staryu. You're going physical. I'm, I'm working on your special. Alright, that was enough for that. I was defeated. Sorry about that, homegirl, but you in the way. Wow, a trainer. Let me photograph your Pokemon. Well, first, you gotta get their permission. Second, how much you paying? Monferno versus Monferno. This is actually... Let's see how it goes. I did good damage. Good damage indeed. Let's see how mine how much mines do with the leer. Are you trying to like secretly crit me? Okay, so I outspeed him. Goodbye. And that's why a well-trained starter is always is always going to be one of your most dependable Pokemon. I got some great shots. Oh, so you just did it anyway. See, this is why you can't trust people. I'm looking forward to our new encounter. Saying what we can run into. Don't you think this is amazing? What? What's amazing? Bruh. Come on, all these freaking types that are super effective against my Pokemon. Alright, big body it is. Bruh, you're doing a lot of damage to just be like a fucking Pidgeotto. Against the Onyx. Okay. Maybe it was just because it was the crit. But still, the Taylor was doing the same thing. It was using wing attack and doing like 4 or 5 damage. Can you just die for me? That would be the polite thing to do. I know my attacks always fucking mess. Gosh. There we go. Shh. 
trying to learn shockwave, see? It's a good thing I didn't teach it to him. Oh, see, look, now this leaves me in a situation, though. Because Thundershock has a chance to paralyze, but Shockwave never misses. And it's a bit stronger than Thundershock. But I also get 10 less PP with it. Um... Will I teach him Thunder Wave later on? I do have a Pokemon that can paralyze, so... Let, let's go Shockwave. The landscape is nice, but your skills are even more spectacular. I hope I won't forget that. Uh, regret that down the line. Any other tra How many trainers is on this goddamn bridge? Surely you're a good trainer, right? No, I'm a bad trainer. I beat my Pokemon and forced them to fight against other Pokemon. That do what? You see what I'm saying about like the, the level spikes? Now, this isn't too bad because, again, training in between towns isn't unheard of. So... Honestly, if I was like properly training in between each area, I'd probably be about the same levels. Like 16 to 19 between all my Pokemon. So maybe before going too far into the town, I'll do another training session. And then I'll search the town. You focusing your energy, buddy. What you focusing on? All right. Can you just cease to exist? Thank you. Goodbye. Trying to learn Fury Swipes. I don't want no damn Fury Swipes. Leech Seed? Hell yeah, I'll take Leech Seed though. Alright, now is the time to get rid of Absorb. I'm not scared of no level 18 war turtle. I got tweeds, nigga. Tweeds inhibit my ability to care. Get it? See what I did there? Bro, that did a lot for one attack. There we go, that works better. Can you just die right now? How about now? He's going to live with one eight. No, he died. Okay. You're quite a challenge. Forlorn Cape. So this is a new area. Springside Path. This is as well. Let's see what our encounter is. Give me something nice. I'm not gonna look yet. Let's hit it cry. Uh, is that a fucking cat? 
to cotton. That might already.